Yes, a very good evening to all of you. Please confirm whether you can listen to the audio clearly. Yes, a very good evening, everyone. A very warm welcome to the revision lectures. Hi, Kinnery, how are you? Hi, Arfan, you're new here for live. But I think you'll join us every day. I'm very sure about it. Hi, Ramya. How are you? Jatin. Badiya, sir. Your paper was very good. You read good answers. You wrote good answers. Hi, Prince. Jashandeep. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Pritam. Sarthak. How are you, Sarthak? I'm fine, Arfan. I hope you all are doing well, and uh, you are all uh, charged up for our revision lectures. Yes, Hari Om. Hi, how are you? So welcome to each one of you. And uh, this session is going to be the best session that you have ever attended. If you are new here. A very warm welcome to you. I am fine, Ramya. How are you? So good to see all of you attending this session at seven when everybody is tired. But you guys are like, "No, yar, padna hai abhi to. Is is baar to karna hi hai. There is no looking back this time." Yes, I am fine, Kinnery dear. How are you? Hope you are studying well. Yes. I'm so glad that Kinnery, you are uh, very regular in all these sessions. Very good, good work. Hi Neeraj. Hi Neeraj, how are you? I'm fine. So guys, let's uh, get started because I think that uh, each minute is precious for us. Yes, each minute is precious, and uh, this time I'm going to. Uh, Conduct these revision lectures in a very different manner. Normally, what I do is I start with the contract act, then I do the partnership, sale, companies act, and last me I do LLP. But uh, this time I am thinking of starting with companies act because uh, companies act uh, students they find a little difficult to remember. Contract तो क्या है? शुरू से वही पढ़ते आ रहे हैं हमारा best act है वो है ना? Even if we don't study, we are going to write correctly in the contract act. And contract act, uh, if we revise late, na, so it is better, no? It is. It will be fresh in our mind till the exam. So let's do uh, companies act first. And if I have time, I will also start with contract act. So contract act, I don't want to do at a stretch. I want to do like two two units in every lecture, so that you know we do contract act every day we meet. and then you can revise at home if you have any doubts you can ask me in the lecture i am going to discuss everything from this workbook it is the prayas revision book you can download it uh, from my website i have given a link in the description box of this video so what i am going to do students i will be uh, discussing all the acts through this revision workbook you can download this revision workbook it is free You can take a print out, keep it ready for the next session. But I know कि you know lecture के time पे it is not possible for you to write everything. So you may want my handwritten notes. So I have two WhatsApp groups. One is the general group that is the study group, in which I sometimes post uh, articles which I find are really very good. Like you know, should we do CMA? What is CPA? And uh, there are these articles which I come up. I don't post every day. i don't uh, spam you with messages but whichever article i feel is good for you as a student i share all that then there is one whatsapp group wherein we have doubt solving okay that is an open group you can solve doubts uh, among yourself law accounts maths it's an open group for you so i have shared the links of both my whatsapp groups join the whatsapp group because i am going to share my hand written uh, filled workbook in that in those whatsapp groups okay so you will have a workbook for yourself wherein you can fill while watching the lectures 
you will also get my handwritten filled workbook during the lecture i will share that also in those whatsapp groups okay and we'll stay connected i want you to stay connected with me because if you have any doubt not related to studies but i say ma'am padhai mein man nahi lag raha hai ya what should i do i'm thinking of uh, uh, you know uh, going for some other course yeah i want to leave ca mai chhodu ki continue karu sometimes you have so many small queries for everything we are there for you okay so join those uh, whatsapp groups i'm going to share the filled worksheet workbook in that so without wasting any time students let's start with the companies act now i'm going to revise each and every concept but we are going to do it in brief so that we cover everything okay i want to cover maximum now students uh, before i proceed there is one book which i strongly recommend to all my students and that is my ca law compiler bomb why do i recommend that because 100% paper is going to come from that book only if you read that book properly you are sorted every question from the paper will be from that book it's my guarantee okay so just go for that book trust me usme se hi paper aane wala hai aapko the ca law compiler is a must it's a it's a compulsory book for each and every ca foundation student many of you already have that book and uh, i think after studying from that your confidence will increase three times and the questions will be from that book only so you know now that we are revising the sections i want you to go through the theory and the questions simultaneously i will also share the link of that compiler you can purchase it from my website theorymasterslearning.com also i have a giveaway for you it's a surprise uh, that i have for you i'll share that also with you just let me share the link of my workbook of the compiler yes so i'm sharing a link of the compiler you can download it so you can purchase it later yes so this is the link for all the books that are available on my website and uh, go for the compiler bomb you will love that book all right uh, harsh yes harsh is saying abhi aapki video dekh raha tha auction sale ha we are going to study that now the students download this workbook uh, the prayas revision notes take a print out be ready for every lecture i have a surprise gift for you uh students who participate and who attend these lectures regularly okay all the five lectures regularly i will identify a few names which i feel are attending the lecture every day and i will give you my study calendar with test papers free okay it's a deal it's a deal that i am doing it with you attend all these five lectures it's a win win situation for you actually it's a win for you attend all the five lectures participate answer okay i'll ask you questions answer that and the students that i identify will get study calendar with test papers free from my side okay so fada fad let's start with the companies act today weightage of companies act is around 8 to 10 marks don't go as for the companies act weightage for ca foundation consider ca inter as your goal there you have companies act for 60 marks okay so very important prince i will be of course sharing for foundation but if you want for ca inter calendar i'll give you that also don't worry test paper and calendar dono hai jatin ke paas bolta hai <laughs> okay jatin it's for others for you i'll think of a special price chalo but i want everyone to attend the lectures all five days and participate answer your your confidence will increase students and that is what i want for you i want to see all of you in ca inter okay so yes participation is a must and attending all five days from me you will get a special gift okay chalo let's get started i'm super excited okay sarthak yes that calendar will help you to complete law in 30 days you have test papers also in that okay chalo hi shagun how are you good to see you 
Hi Shagun. Okay guys. All right. Yes. Let's begin with the Companies Act. Now the Companies Act 2013 came into force on 30th August 2013, and this act applies to the whole of India. Are these things asked in the exam? No, but this is just warm up for us. So the Companies Act received the assent, the consent of the President on 29th August, and it was notified in the official gazette. Okay, I'll write notes for you so that you can fill this in your workbook later. So it was it was notified in the official gazette on 30th August 2013. How is a company defined? Company is defined under Section Two, Clause Twenty of the Companies Act. It means a company which is incorporated under this Act. This means the two thousand thirteen Act or any other previous company law. So, if you are a company incorporated under the two thousand thirteen Act, then this Act applies to you. And even if you are incorporated under the nineteen fifty six Act or an Act earlier than that, like the nineteen thirteen Act, even then the Companies Act applies to you. It means that let's say that I am a company incorporated under the nineteen fifty six Act. I cannot tell कि भाई नहीं मुझे तो ये Act apply नहीं करता मैं तो वहाँ पर incorporate हुई थी ना law बोलते हैं nothing doing. If in the Companies Act we are using the word company, it includes all the companies, whether incorporated under this Act or previous Act. The provisions will apply to you. So the word company, wherever used in the Act, will have this meaning. Now it includes the companies incorporated under this Act. So what if I am a company incorporated under some foreign Act? Like I am incorporated in a com in a in a uh, in a country outside India. I am a foreign company. Will this act apply to me? Ideally, it should not apply. If I am incorporated outside India, I am doing business also outside India. Then will the Companies Act apply to me? No. But what if I am a company, although incorporated outside India? But I am doing business in India. That is the definition of foreign company given under the Companies Act 2013. I am incorporated outside India, but I am doing business in India. Then that for that Indian for that business which you are doing in India, either you are physically present or you are electronically present, the Companies Act will apply. Okay, so these are few finer points which you need to know about the Companies Act. Okay, let me read. There are so many students who are commenting. Please take session on how to write case law step by step. Aryan, I have already run that session. I'll share a video. See, it's one of the recent videos which I had done. Aryan, check the recent videos. I have already done on case to case. And students, good news for you. After these revision sessions are over, I'm going to start solving case study questions with you. Okay, so we'll do that also. Yes, Mayank, I'm so thankful for your uh, message. It really means a lot to me. He's saying that even if you don't uh, share the calendar, we would like to attend the lectures. Okay, Fatima, uh, don't skip the LLP Act. Just go through the important study only from my Prayas workbook. Okay, that much you can do. So it will not. Uh, okay, so it doesn't apply to companies which are incorporated outside India and doing business outside India. But if you are doing business in India, even though you are a foreign company for that type of for that business, the Companies Act will apply. Okay. Now, company it is an artificial person. Artificial means because it doesn't take birth like a natural person, but it is a person. It is a person. in the eyes of law it is capable of contracting in its own name it is created by law it doesn't take birth like a natural person it is created by law and it can be brought to an end also by operation of law so it has to be wound up by operation of law yes now now you have to answer abhi mera kaam khatam ho gaya now you have to answer it is said that the company is a separate legal person in the eyes of law what does it mean what is the meaning of separate legal entity yes can you tell me what is the meaning of separate legal entity thank you so much shagun ayush mishra i'll tell you the topics which are important in llp let's come to that part 
okay Le today we are discussing only companies act when i discuss the llp act with you i'll give you the important uh, uh, con content in that yes company is a separate person in the eyes of law what does it mean yes i'm waiting for answers yes jatin you were the first one to answer company is a person separate and distinct from the members yes let me write i loved your sentence i'm going to write it company is a person separate and distinct from members from the persons who have formed it okay kinnery correct answer company is separate and distinct from the members who have formed it do you remember the case law that we had studied see you already have the blanks you should be ready with the next answer yes case law what is the case law bhumika is saying company can own property it can sue it can be sued in its own name bhumika superb superb are bhumika had asked me a question i forgot to reply on whatsapp i'll do that tonight bhumika bhumika is saying can the company uh, own yes it can own property i like your sentence bhumika i'll include that company can own property company can sue in its own name it can be sued yes correct of a great solomon versus solomon solomon versus solomon case law can be written over here solomon versus solomon yes every everyone very good pratham hi pratham how are you long time janvi correct answer harsh correct answer arfan correct answer yes solomon versus solomon okay company is a person separate and distinct from the members solomon versus solomon is the case law he had formed a company after selling his shoe business the company uh, the, his his business was not running he sold the business to a company the company was also running into losses so he wound up the assets uh, were sold and they earned less than what was payable to the creditors the company paid money to mr solomon and nothing to the unsecured creditors they argued but we said that company is a person separate and distinct from mr solomon even if he held the entire share capital he is a person separate and distinct from the company that he has formed so mr solomon was entitled to be paid as a secured creditor even though he held the entire share capital yes okay this is the doctrine of corporate veil theory yes pritam correct answer what is the doctrine known as what is the doctrine known as what do we call it <laughs> the doctrine of corporate personality yes the doctrine of corporate personality or the doctrine of corporate veil okay we call it the doctrine of corporate personality or the doctrine of corporate veil yes correct correct so doctrine of corporate veil means that the company is separate and distinct from the persons who have formed it very good bhumika harsh pratham janvi superb guys i'm so happy kinnery correct answer superb then we have perpetual succession perpetual succession means company may <coughs> members may come members may go company's existence is not affected the company is not affected by death insolvency insanity of the members yes now you tell me okay students in case of death if the if the members die the shares will be transmitted to whom what should i write over there in case a member dies you should be ready with the next answer insolvency insanity to whom will the shares go yes waiting for your answers vansh correct answer shagun correct answer harsh perpetual succession is company is still going on correct pritam perpetual succession means irrespective of members it is not affected absolutely right armina yes my notes are sufficient for companies act yes prince correct answer in this case it goes to the legal representative 
guys if you have already taken a print out of my workbook if the prayas revision book then you can you can write with me huh? this is a very good chance to write and practice it is trans uh, pritam don't use the word transferred use transmitted transferred is voluntary whereas over here it is by operation of law you will say it will be transmitted transmitted is the right word in case of insolvency it will go to the yes tell me in case of insolvency what should i bhumika arfan janvi kinri correct answer superb dilshad correct answer in case of insolvency quick guys be quick in case of insolvency it will go to the yes it will go to the official receiver or it will go to the official assignee in case of insanity who will give me the correct answer in case of insanity the shares will be transmitted to use the correct word students it is not transfer transfer is voluntary transmission transmission it will go to the guardian it will go to the guardian yes official receiver assignee bhumika bajaj correct answer i have two bhumikas in today's session kinri correct answer ramya correct answer okay yes in case of insanity it will be transmitted to the guardian so company's existence is not affected in fact the shares will be transmitted in this case all right common seal common seal is the official signature of the company company is an artificial person but it is still capable of contracting the company can has to sign various documents but it is an artificial person it cannot sign so official seal is nothing but the signature of the company a signature uh, sorry common seal you can write it is the official signature of the company is it mandatory yes students tell me is vansh superb you are ready with the next answer see i like this students you know what is the next gap come on interact with me answer it is not is it mandatory no it is not mandatory it is optional okay tell me students if the common seal is not mandatory then who will sign the document see i don't have a common seal for my company then who will sign hi krishna how are you welcome it is the official superb answers all have answered correctly jatin i loved your answer companies amendment act 2015 affixing of common seal is not mandatory if you write that in the answer it will definitely add value as per companies amendment act 2015 it is not mandatory yes if if the person yes it will be signed who will sign it it will be signed by two directors or it will be signed by one director and company secretary if the if the company has a company secretary see appointment of company secretary is not mandatory company will appoint a whole time company secretary if it has paid up capital of more than rupees 10 crores okay so it will be signed in that case by the company secretary if it is not if there is no common seal okay very good two directors uh, and two uh, and nahi bhumika junjun wala not and either two directors ya fir it will be signed by two directors com, uh, and a company secretary if you have a company secretary yes so in that case it will be signed by two directors or by a director and company secretary where you have a company secretary okay then then we have limited liability limited liability see in this case the liability may be limited either by shares or by guarantee either by shares or by guarantee in case the company's liability is limited by shares then the liability is limited to tell me in case it is limited by shares it is limited to fill in the blanks and you will also be ready in case if it is limited by guarantee then it is limited to tell me very good vansh limited to the nominal value of shares yes it is limited to the nominal value also known as the face value it is limited to 
nominal value or the face value of share. So if the face value of share is ten rupees, I have paid six rupees. Then my liability is only four rupees. Okay. Then in case of limited by guarantee, very good. Shagun, Kinnari, Jatin, correct answer. Bhumika, face value in case of guarantee. Guarantee. Okay. In case of guarantee, my liability is limited to what will you write? Correct. Krishna, correct answer. Bhumika, correct. Yes. In this case, it is limited. to the amount of guarantee can you tell me when will i get this amount of guarantee when will i get this amount of guarantee yes students it is very good that you are typing full sentences because there is a direct connection you type and your brain is now revising and these sentences will be used in the exam you are writing very good sentences it is limited to the amount of guarantee this we will get at the time of winding up yes at the time of winding up now a company limited by guarantee may have share capital or it may not have share capital in case it has share capital then we will have two two amounts of liability one is the amount which is unpaid on shares and you will have the amount of guarantee but in case of the company not having share capital there is only one liability that is the amount of guarantee the amount which is unpaid on shares can be recovered any time during the lifetime but the amount of guarantee can be recovered only at the time of winding up yes let me see whether you have all answered correctly correct answer everyone correct answer i'm so proud of you guys you should be very happy aap sahi ja rahe ho acche se pad rahe ho sab correct answers de rahe ek ne bhi idhar udhar answer nahi diya hai very good guys okay free transferability someone had already answered this question i was so glad free transferability in case of private company no but in case of public company yes management let us come to management who owns the business tell me who owns the business who owns the business Wow, Pritham has given a nice answer. Shares are freely transferable in case of public company, private company, traditional company. Okay, yes, correct. Correct, Vansh. Correct, Shagun. Very good, Shagun. Correct answer. Very nice, students. In case of management, who manages the business? Ownership is with the shareholders, or I will always write members. I don't like writing shareholders. I will write members. and management is with the board of directors this is one of the important characteristics and benefits of a company even though members own the business they need not worry about the management in case of proprietary partnership the owners have to manage the business but over here members need not worry about management it is managed by the board of directors harsh bhumika ankita very good answers excellent answer guys i am so proud of you very good okay this now from here i'll also give you the questions which are important for exam and what kind of questions will be asked now from this they will ask you to write a short note on perpetual succession and common seal it will always be asked together write a short note on perpetual succession and common seal then they can ask you a question on what is corporate veil and explain lifting of corporate veil okay yes kinnari correct member is someone whose name appears in the register very good sentence okay now lifting of corporate veil in case a short note is asked on lifting of corporate veil students you will not directly explain lifting of corporate veil you will first explain the meaning of corporate veil after that you will explain the circumstances 
or you will first explain what is the concept of lifting okay then you will explain meaning of lifting of corporate veil there are three three points for meaning of corporate veil and there are three points for lifting students who have my notes will tell you that there are six points over here three points meaning of corporate veil three lifting of corporate veil so if a question is asked on lifting you will not directly write about lifting you will first explain corporate veil we already discussed company is protected okay uh, company is protected its members didn't understand that are fun now meaning of corporate veil you told me that company is a separate person distinct from the members who have formed it the company is a separate person in the eyes of law capable of contracting members cannot be held liable for acts of the company the company is liable for its own uh, 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 liabilities or debts members cannot be held liable property of the company belongs to the company not members but there are certain circumstances wherein if the corporate veil is misused the corporate veil will be lifted and in that case now you will continue now you will continue if the corporate veil is lifted you will now continue the sentence uh, krishna yes that is a question but i have covered that later in types of companies so now we are not studying that we'll do it later in types of companies similarities and dissimilarities now you answer my question first yes answer my question corporate veil refers to the legal concept where the company is identified separately from the members yes you cannot hold the company liable uh, you cannot hold the member liable even though he holds the entire share capital of the company solomon versus solomon i asked you a question okay what was the question that in case the corporate veil is lifted who will be responsible tell me answer this question in case the corporate veil is lifted who is responsible the officers the directors members they will be held liable in case the corporate veil is lifted they will be held liable for acts of the company the courts may be make the members management liable for acts or debts of the company correct 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 yes absolutely right okay so you will write okay harsh has written a very good answer corporate veil means members are separate from the members concept in some cases courts can disregard the corporate i love that word disregard the corporate entity and make the members personally liable the directors the board of directors yes members members directors officers they will be held liable the court will probe into the matter very good bhumika the court will probe into the matter they will look to the real intentions of the company yes they will disregard the legal facade the they will disregard the company as a corporate entity and instead hold the persons hold the real look into the realities behind the legal facade members officers they are held liable correct absolutely right now there are certain circumstances where corporate veil may be lifted one is failure to return the application money section 39 this section number is important students section number is important now i had decided that i need minimum subscription i need minimum rupees 100 crores but i received applications and i received subscriptions of only 60 crores since the minimum subscription has not been subscribed application money is not received law says return the application money but these directors officers aaya hua paisa kon return karta hai na they kept it with him, themselves corporate veil is lifted in that case if you don't return the application money we will lift the corporate veil and we will hold the persons personally liable okay tell me the minimum amount of subscription is what should i write over here अरे वाह कृष्णा ने तो सब लिख दिया रिड्यूस टैक्स कंपनीज फॉर्म फॉर फ्रॉड इट्स एन एनिमी ओके इफ द मिनिमम अमाउंट ऑफ सब्सक्रिप्शन इज नॉट सब्सक्राइब्ड इट इज नॉट नॉट सब्सक्राइब एंड द अमाउंट रिसीव्ड रिसीवेबल ऑन एप्लीकेशन अमाउंट 
receivable on application okay so if the minimum amount of subscription is not subscribed very good jatin you have correctly answered and the amount receivable on application is not received no pritam here we will not consider 90% that is the view of sebi here companies act says that you have to receive the entire amount of uh, minimum paid but yes 90% is sebi applicable for listed companies it is not received within 30 days from the issue of prospectus then the amount shall be returned within what should i write yes kinnery correct answer 15 days from the closure of the issue else it will be returned along with interest at the rate of 15% per annum hi ronak welcome so students this sentence is important for exam you should write this in your answer then we have miss description of name correct prince very good miss description section 12 name is either not given or it is incorrectly given yes let me read the answers you guys are answering so well within 30 days otherwise return it along with it return it within 15 days else return it along with interest at the rate of 15% per annum very good kinnery subscribed amount received on application very good kinnery correct answer ankita correct answer now let's proceed miss description of name name is either not mentioned or name is not properly mentioned name likha hi nahi maine acha listen i just signed the document i didn't write the name of the person i didn't write name of the company i just sign i am a director i simply signed without writing name of the company without writing that i am signing on behalf of the company what will the outsider assume what will the outsider feel what will he feel yes answer my question what will he feel he will feel that the director is signing on his own in his own name who will be liable in this case who will be liable yes students who will be liable in this case डायरेक्टर ने लिखा ही नहीं साइनिंग एज अ डायरेक्टर यस प्रिंस करेक्ट डायरेक्टर विल बी पर्सनली लायबल नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ मेकिंग द कंपनी लायबल यू आर होल्डिंग द डायरेक्टर लायबल इट मींस कॉर्पोरेट वेल इज लिफ्टेड ना यस नेम इज नॉट प्रॉपरली मेंशनड नाउ दिस इज माय चेक ओके ये मेरा चेक है नेम ऑफ द कंपनी इज एल एंड आर एजेंसी इज लिमिटेड दिस इज द एक्चुअल नेम ऑफ द कंपनी लेकिन चेक पे बैंक ने क्या लिख दिया गलती से एल आर एजेंसी इज लिमिटेड डायरेक्टर्स ऑल्सो साइन दिस डॉक्यूमेंट द एक्चुअल नेम ऑफ द कंपनी वॉज एल एंड आर एजेंसी इज लिमिटेड बट द डायरेक्टर साइंड द चेक गॉट डिसऑनर्ड Now we wanted to file a case against LR agencies. पता चला ऐसी तो कोई कंपनी नहीं है Then who will be held liable in this case? Who will be held liable, students? Yes, tell me. Kinnery, we will not write the owner. We will write the person who is signing the check. That director, that officer will be held liable. Yes. the director yes in this case also the director is held personally liable now instead of holding the company if we are holding the directors liable it means the corporate veil is lifted we are lifting the corporate veil if this is asked in the exam explain with the help of these examples okay there is not much content explain with the help of these examples for determining the character of the company can i say are ye to meri friend company hai wo that is my enemy company company is not an it's not a living person it cannot be your friend it cannot be your enemy the person who is managing that company he is either your friend or your enemy now in case of war in case of war let's say ki company a sorry ye le leti hu example i'll take this only daimla company limited they purchased tires from continental tires at the time of contract everything was fine then the first world war was declared they were on the opposite sides 
डायमला वॉज कंसर्न कि भाई ये तो हमारी एनिमी बन गई है दे डिड नॉट मेक पेमेंट ड्यूरिंग वॉर आर दे जस्टिफाइड आर दे जस्टिफाइड ये दोनों एनिमी बन गए थे एनिमी कंपनी है शुड वी मेक पेमेंट टू अवर एनिमी कंपनी ड्यूरिंग वॉर नो नो वी कैनॉट मेक पेमेंट ड्यूरिंग वॉर सो इन दिस केस इंस्टेड ऑफ होल्डिंग द कंपनी वी आर होल्डिंग द पीपल हु आर मैनेजिंग द कंपनी वी आर कंसिडरिंग वेदर दे आर अवर फ्रेंड और एनिमी कॉर्पोरेट वेल इज लिफ्टेड इन दिस केस कॉर्पोरेट वेल इज लिफ्टेड कॉर्पोरेट वेल इज लिफ्टेड यस वेरी गुड अंकिता प्रिंस जतिन करेक्ट आंसर रौनक करेक्ट आंसर भूमिका करेक्ट आंसर किन्नरी करेक्ट आंसर एरियर्स ऑफ टैक्स हु इज लाइबल टू पे टैक्स कंपनी और द मेंबर्स टेल मी हु इज लाइबल टू पे टैक्स हु इज लाइबल टू पे टैक्स the company or the members directors officers who is liable to pay tax the company is liable because this is liability of the company the company is liable but what if we form a company to avoid tax then who is liable in this case who is liable like sir dinshaw he formed four private companies just to avoid the payment of tax so who was held liable for tax he formed four private companies just to avoid the payment of tax so should is the company liable in this case or will we lift the corporate veil and hold the person liable yes normally the company is liable but when the corporate entity is used to circumvent to avoid the payment of tax then the officers the directors they will be held liable and corporate veil is lifted corporate veil is lifted yes corporate veil will be lifted students this case law is extremely important for exam it can be asked as a case based question sir dinshaw manak ji petit versus unknown it can be asked as a case based question you have to memorize the name of this case law the facts are also important because normally the question is nothing but conversion of this case law okay facts are converted into questions so question is important company is formed to avoid welfare laws i formed the company just to avoid the payment of bonus gratuity corporate veil will be lifted corporate veil is lifted so uh, workman employed in associated worker uh, associated rubber industries bhavnagar versus the company ultra wires act what is the meaning of the word ultra wires what is the meaning of the word ultra wires yes students what is meaning of this latin phrase ultra wires what does it mean what is ultra wires what is ultra wires hi aman how are you Hi Aman, welcome. Good evening. Yes, Prince, super. Prince, you are very quick in answering. Jatin, correct answer. Very good, Jatin. Beyond the powers, yes. Ultra wires means beyond the powers. Now, a garment manufacturing company. has purchased 100 tires can they do so it is not allowed by the memorandum it is beyond the powers of the memorandum it is ultra wires who is liable for this ultra wires transaction company or directors who is liable for the ultra wires transaction company or directors students who have joined late i have a link i have a link of this workbook in the description box please go and download the workbook click on that link and download take a print out and i'm also going to share my handwritten notes the workbook in my whatsapp group 
the link of both my whatsapp group is given in the description box join that group after the session is over i will share these notes over there super prince ronak pratham bhumika kinnari jatin ramya harsh naresh kya baat hai yaar you guys are on fire today kya kya answer kar rahe ho aap log superb who is liable the director is liable corporate veil is lifted kya baat hai yaar superb impressive where the company is a sham or hoax i have formed the company to hide my wrongful action okay company is formed to hide my wrongful action corporate veil will be lifted and the person will be personally liable where the company is formed as an agent of members are company is agent let me write over here company is agent it simply means that members are the principal now students for the acts of agent we will hold the principal liable it means for the acts of company members are liable because principal is liable for acts of the agent if for the acts of the company you are holding the members liable corporate veil is lifted yes harsh correct company is formed for fraud in this case sham hoax correct so for acts of the company the members are liable because for acts of the agent principal is liable corporate veil is lifted corporate veil is lifted yes so students we have finished the first part of the companies act warm up ho gaya ab hum quickly discuss karenge types of companies yes types of companies i hope you are feeling confident because aap sab ne bahut hi acche se answer kiya hai sab kuch i am super impressed with you guys jitne bhi answers aaye hain na aaj they are all correct they are all correct bahut acche se taiyari kar le kar rahe ho aap i am very impressed guys okay next let us discuss classification of companies yes one person company amendment hai isme expected in exam ah please highlight this as expected in exam question expected one person company as the name suggests has only one person as its member member bhi wohi hai director bhi wohi hai what if something happens to him yaar What if the member dies? तो क्या करेंगे What if the member dies, guys? So we have only one person as a member. He is a director as well as the shareholder. But what if he dies? तो क्या करेंगे हम So we have a member, and in case he dies, or he is incapable in case of his death, or incapacity. ओके डेथ और इनकेपेसिटी में शेयर्स किसके पास चले जाएंगे शेयर्स विल गो टू द नॉमिनी यस नॉमिनी एंड द नॉमिनी इज नेम नेम मस्ट बी मेंशन इन द मेमोरेंडम नेम मस्ट बी मेंशन इन द मेमोरेंडम नाउ व्हाट इफ द मेंबर डाइज और इज इनकेपेबल नॉमिनी विल बिकम द मेंबर ओके नॉमिनी विल बिकम द मेंबर हु विल टेल मी वॉट आर द क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ नॉमिनी एंड मेंबर हु विल टेल मी द क्वालिफिकेशन टेल मी हु विल टेल मी द क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ मेंबर एज वेल एज नॉमिनी सो ओनली अ नैचुरल पर्सन नैचुरल मीन्स लिविंग पर्सन only a natural person correct then person who is an indian citizen and who is resident in india can be a member and he can be a nominee Yes, Pritam. Correct answer. I was I was about to ask that. 
रेजिडेंट मीन्स अ पर्सन हु स्टेज इन इंडिया फॉर एटलीस्ट वन एटी टू डेज ड्यूरिंग द प्रीवियस फाइनेंशियल ईयर अर्लियर इट वॉज वन एटी टू डेज नाउ अ पर्सन हु इज इन इंडिया फॉर एटलीस्ट वन ट्वेंटी डेज ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसीडिंग फाइनेंशियल ईयर इमिजिएटली प्रोसीडिंग वन फाइनेंशियल ईयर कैन बिकम अ मेंबर एज वेल एज नॉमिनी सो द रिक्वायरमेंट ओनली अ नेचुरल पर्सन लिविंग पर्सन natural person who is an indian citizen resident superb guys you remember everything i'm so proud of you question will be asked on this 120 days students please note in rtp or mtp they have asked questions on this particular concept but answer is given wrong okay so please be very careful no bhumika junjun wala the provisions have changed it is not 182 days it is 120 days 120 days no person shall be eligible to incorporate more than one opc or be a nominee in more than one opc it means i cannot be a member in two opcs i cannot be a nominee in two opc okay but can i be member in one opc nominee in another opc yes I can be member in one, nominee in another. वो चलेगा हा whether he is resident or in India or not. हा sorry, let me write. Uh, yeah, my mistake. I should have written that those words also. Whether resident in India or not. Yes, we'll add that because that is the amendment. Whether yes, भूमिका correct. Whether resident in India or not. Resident means someone who stays in India for at least one eighty one twenty days. Now even a non-resident can be a member or nominee in opc ankita 182 has become 120 so he can be member in one nominee in another yes yes he can be member in one nominee in another opc wo chalega now what if jahan par wo nominee tha wahan ka member dies okay he is a nominee and over here the member dies now he has become nominee uh, sorry he has become member in two so within 180 days okay within 180 days he has to choose the opc where he wants to continue as a member okay within 180 days nominee's name will be mentioned in the memorandum this is okay students please note that this is now omitted you can convert your opc into either private or public company any time that you want any time you want now voluntary conversion this is also omitted students there are few students who are not aware of the amendment so that is why i have kept it over here so that you know these things are omitted okay if you are not aware of the amendment you should know students i have a question for you and i feel it is my gut feeling that a question will be asked in the exam on that on that concept can a one person company okay i'm i'm writing over here can a one person company be incorporated or converted into a section 8 company this is my gut feeling that a question will be asked on this can it be incorporated or converted into a section 8 company kya lagta hai aapko kya baat hai harsh correct answer नहीं हो सकता है नो 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 इट कैन नाइदर बी इनकॉर्पोरेटेड नॉर बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू अ सेक्शन एट कंपनी नो इट कैन नॉट बी कैन अ माइनर बिकम अ मेंबर और अ नॉमिनी ऑफ सेक्शन एट कंपनी नो 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 माइनर कैन नॉट बिकम अ मेंबर माइनर कैन नॉट बिकम अ मेंबर ओके माइनर कैन नॉट बिकम अ मेंबर माइनर के नॉट बिकम चलो प्राइवेट कंपनी में तीन रिस्ट्रिक्शंस हैं देर इज अ रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन ट्रांसफरेबिलिटी यू कैन नॉट ट्रांसफर शेयर देर इज नो फ्री ट्रांसफरेबिलिटी देर इज अ रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन ट्रांसफरेबिलिटी यू कैन ट्रांसफर ओनली आफ्टर द अप्रूवल ऑफ द डायरेक्टर्स और द कंपनी maximum number of members in case of private company you will ask you will answer this question yes pritam it cannot be a financial institution yes no 
नॉन बैंकिंग फाइनेंशियल ओके इट प्रोहिबिट्स द राइट टू ट्रांसफर इट लिमिट्स द मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ मेंबर्स टू टू हंड्रेड येस इट लिमिट्स द मैक्सिम टू टू हंड्रेड एक्सेप्ट ओपीसी ऑफकोर्स मिनिमम टू मिनिमम टू ये प्रिंस हैज आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन मिनिमम मेंबर्स टू मैक्सिमम टू हंड्रेड मिनिमम डायरेक्टर्स ऑल्सो टू मैक्सिमम टू हंड्रेड सो इट रिस्ट्रिक्स द ट्रांसफरेबिलिटी देर इज प्रोहिबिशन देर इज प्रोहिबिशन ऑन पब्लिक ऑफर यू कैन नॉट ऑफर शेयर टू द पब्लिक यू कैन गो ओनली फॉर प्राइवेट प्लेसमेंट no public offer yes you cannot invite the public to invest in the shares of your company acha tell me what if these restrictions are not present in my articles okay these restrictions are to be mentioned in the articles what if these restrictions are not there are yaar irfan very good chalo irfan ka bhi bol diya maximum 200 mein you will not consider employees bolta hai you will not consider ex employees who have left the organization but continue to hold shares joint holders will be treated just like one is pe rtp mt pe mein question aaya tha yes bhumika very good if there are no restrictions then it will be deemed to be a public company it will be deemed to be a public company yes very good guys Yes, Pritam. Maximum we can have only fifteen directors. Usse zada karna to special resolution lagega. Maximum only fifteen directors. Yes, Pritam. Okay, now let's shift to public company section two clause seventy one. Public company, very simple definition. Public company means a company which is not a private company. Very simple definition. What about a private subsidiary of a public company? Now let's say that X is a public company and we have a private subsidiary. Okay, P. private limited what will happen to this private subsidiary you have to tell me what will happen to this private subsidiary ronak must add the word very good ronak correct answer acha bolo p private limited hai what about this subsidiary private subsidiary hai of a public company it will be deemed to be a public company yes it will be deemed to be a public company so does it mean that it needs to change the name remove private remove the restriction no nothing is required only thing is that privileges of a private company will not privileges of private company will not be available all the provisions of public company will apply you need not change the articles you need not alter your name only the privileges will not be available yes bhumika bajaj very good it is a public company even if it has all the restrictions of a private company as per the articles students i don't want to boast mujhe apni tareef nahi karni hai लेकिन मुझे आइडेंटिफाई हो रहा है कि जो जो स्टूडेंट ने मेरे लेक्चर्स लिए हैं देर आर फ्यू स्टूडेंट्स हुआ परचेज द पेन ड्राइव लेक्चर्स एंड द वंस हु हैव अटेंडेड माय लाइव लेक्चर्स आई कैन फील द डिफरेंस इन देयर आंसर क्या ब्यूटीफुली आप लोग आंसर कर रहे हो स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू सो मच मुझे लगता है मेरी मेहनत सफल हुई है ओके सो येस मिनिमम सेवन मेंबर्स एंड मैक्सिमम maximum members no limit minimum directors sorry three minimum three directors minimum three di arfan very good kya answer kar rahe ho yaar pehla live session aur itna acha answer kar rahe ho very good no limit classification on the basis of liability i am not covering humne pehle hi kar liya hai company limited on the basis of share guarantee we have already discussed having share capital not having share capital so i am not covering it again unlimited liability means the liability is not limited they are their personal assets are also liable their personal assets are also bhumika you are answering uh, very well ha huh, bhumika good preparation acha answer kar rahe ho okay government company i think 
a question will be asked on this student so please highlight it as important for exam highlight this as important for exam government company means at least 51% of the paid up share capital is held either by the central government or any state government or governments or partly by central and partly by one or more state governments okay so at least 51% and not 50% you need at least 51% either by the central government one or more state governments or partly by central as well as state governments now this is important it also includes a subsidiary of the government company now we have bharat sanchar nigam limited bsnl usi ki ek 100% owned subsidiary hai mtnl maha mahanagar telephone nigam limited so now subsidiary of a government company is deemed to be a government company yes absolutely right so this is also deemed to be a government company theek hai so this is also a government company it is deemed as a government company okay 51% of the voting rights in case the company does not have share capital or fund yes in case the company uh, uh, you can also say that if it has issued dvrs then you will say 51% of the total voting power okay for the purpose of paid up capital 51% of the paid up capital okay for this paid up capital you can use the words as voting power if the company has issued dvrs okay if the company has issued dvrs and if it does not have share capital that is also one case what is a foreign company please highlight this as important definition for exam important definition see whether a company is a domestic company or a foreign company based it is based on incorporation okay it is based on incorporation where the company is incorporated i highlight it with red company kahan par incorporate hui hai that will determine so if it is a company incorporated in india it is an indian company even though all the members are foreigners company is a foreign company if it is incorporated outside india even though all the members are indians to iska yahan par kya kaam ye definition kyu pad rahe hain hum foreign company means a company which is incorporated outside india but it is having a place of business in india इंडिया में बिजनेस कर रही है तो जो बिजनेस इंडिया में कर रही है उसको कंपनीज एक्ट अप्लाई करेगा ना नाउ दैट द कंपनी इज प्रेजेंट आइदर बाय इट सेल्फ मतलब इट इज प्रेजेंट फिजिकली इट हैज अ शॉप फ्रेंचाइज इट हैज अ गोडाउन इट हैज अ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्लांट यू आर प्रेजेंट इन इंडिया फिजिकली और थ्रू एन एजेंट आई एम नॉट प्रेजेंट बट पीपल हु हैव टेकन माय एजेंसीज दे आर प्रेजेंट जैसे आई एम अ मोबाइल कंपनी मैं खुद प्रेजेंट नहीं हूं लेकिन मेरे एजेंट यहां पर मेरे मोबाइल बेचते हैं देन देन ऑल्सो योर गुड्स आर बींग सोल्ड ओवर योर सो फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर बिजनेस इट इज एज एफ यूर अ कंपनी यूर इन इंडियन कंपनी और योर अ कंपनी इन कॉर्पोरेटेड इन इंडिया रजिस्ट्रेशन करवाओ फॉलो द फॉर्म फॉर्मैलिटीज डॉक्यूमेंटेशन दो एंड द कंपनीज एक्ट विल अप्लाई फॉर द बिजनेस विच इज इन इंडिया you may be present either physically or electronically okay you are present either by yourself or agent either physically you have a plant you have a shop you have a franchisee or you are present through electronic mode electronic mode means email uh, 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 or uh, data handling or uh, by you can say uh, cloud computing social media you are present yes you are present electronically even though there is electronic transaction of of very limited dollars very limited amount even then you are a foreign company for that business it is as if you are a company incorporated in india you have to get yourself registered wo sara procedure karna padega and the companies act 2013 will apply amazon yes there are so many companies yaar kitne foreign companies hai amazon google uh, facebook instagram snapchat YouTube कितने सारे हैं Amazon yes Pizza Hut or it conducts business activity in India in any manner okay you are conducting business activity in India in any other manner the companies act will apply for the business that is in India holding subsidiary company again important for definition इस पे questions आ सकते हैं आपको 
Now, yes, Pritam, paid up capital includes equity as well as the convertible preference shares capital, preference share capital. But for CA Foundation, उन्होंने वो अभी फिलहाल consider नहीं किया है in your syllabus. Okay, now H company controls S company. वो control कैसे आता है? Either you control the composition of the board, मतलब you can either appoint or remove all or majority directors. या फिर यू ओन मोर देन हाफ ऑफ द टोटल वोटिंग पावर आइदर ऑन योर ओन और टूगेदर विद वन और मोर सब्सिडरीज देन यू आर द होल्डिंग कंपनी अभी एग्जाम्पल से ये समझेंगे एच ओन सेवेंटी परसेंट इन एस एच इज द होल्डिंग कंपनी अलोन और एच प्लस एस दे बोथ ओन सिक्सटी परसेंट इन एस वन एस वन इज द सब्सिडरी ऑफ एच एच owns 70% in s and s owns 60% in s1 so s1 is the subsidiary of h s1 is the subsidiary of h jatin has written one nice answer let me read it if one company controls another company the controlling company may be termed as a holding company and the company so controlled is the subsidiary company superb super ones very good so either on your own or together with one or more of your subsidiaries associate company important from definition point of view students important from definition point of view associate company now a limited has 30% stake in b limited okay a has 30% in b b is the associate company you are not yet a subsidiary it doesn't own 50% it doesn't own more than half but it has some significant influence significant means it controls 20% of the total voting power or control or participation in the business decision to kuch na kuch to relation establish karna hai na inke books consolidate karne financials will be consolidated uh financials will be consolidated then related party transactions will be attracted over here so 20 to 50 percent yes pritam correct 20 to 50 percent keshav i have already done a video on how to write the case studies so please go through that video it's a very recent video you will find it on my channel license company section 8 company okay section 8 company section 8 company what is the purpose of section 8 company yes tell me what is the purpose of section 8 company it is promotion of yes the purpose is promotion of art science culture protection of environment yes education non profit organization yes promoting religion then it is it is a non profit means they don't work with the intention of earning profit profit kama liya theek hai unka intention nahi rehta whatever profit is earned okay the profit is applied for the objects it prohibits payment of dividend yes jo bhi profit aaya wo uske objects ke liye use karte hain they prohibit the payment of dividend what if what if the license company what if the license company starts paying dividend then what will happen what if it starts paying dividend what if the license company starts paying dividend it prohibits the payment of dividend yes it prohibits the payment of dividend but what if it starts paying dividend
uh, yes desh there are uh, so many kind of associations like uh, coimbatore jewels uh, 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 association or chambers of commerce okay chambers of commerce indo german chambers of commerce is an example of such section 8 company central government will revoke the license what if the license is revoked yes in case of revocation in case of revocation yes pratham in case of revocation either we will ask the company to be wound up okay either wind up or we will ask them to amalgamate with a company having similar objects so either the company will be asked to be wound up or they will have to amalgamate with a company having similar objects very good students very good small company yes we are coming to an end of types of companies converted to uh, uh, convert yes amalgamate with another company having similar objects the roc will add the word limited or private limited at the end of its name yes roc will also add roc will add limited or private limited to the name if it is revoked okay now section 8 company means a company other than a public company can i say it is a small size private company students please pay attention question is asked on this ha huh? they will write that a limited has paid up capital of rupees 5 lakhs it has turnover of only rupees 1 crore is it a small company you will say yes 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 it is a small company are but it is a limited company matlab it is a public limited company it is not yes it is not eligible for it is not eligible to be classified as a small company now pay attention students please pay attention there is no amendment in the main definition as given under section 2 clause 85 there is no amendment in the main definition even today as per section 2 clause 85 small company means a company other than a public company whose paid up capital does not exceed rupees 50 lakh even today it is given or a higher limit as may be prescribed or a higher limit as may be prescribed and the turnover does not exceed rupees 2 crore or a higher limit as may be prescribed now even today in the definition it will it it says that it will not exceed 50 lakhs it will not exceed 2 crores but what is prescribed that is given in the rules okay that is given in the rules so as per the company's specification of definition detail rules 2014 as per the company's specification of definition rules 2014 For sub clause one and two, the paid up capital will not exceed rupees two crores, and the turnover will not exceed rupees twenty crores. Okay, so if you are writing yes, amendment is in the rule; it is not in the section. Amendment is in the rule; it is not in the section. So you will say that. as per the rules it will not in it will not be more than 24 or 2, 2 crores or 20 crores yes 10 crores that is the maximum which they are saying ki 10 se zyada mat rakhna ha see the maximum limit prescribed wo waisa hi hai higher limit which should not exceed 10 crore na to ye 2 crore 10 se kam hai na wo waisa hi hai gaurav बट ओनली प्रिस्क्राइब अभी प्रिस्क्राइब किया है टू क्रोर एंड ट्वेंटी क्रोर विच इज लेस नो देन द मैक्सिम दैट वॉज सेट तो प्रिस्क्राइब उन्होंने लिमिट में रहते हुए प्रिस्क्राइब किया है ये स्कूल विल टेल मी दिस सेक्शन डज नॉट अप्लाई टू मे मैं क्या लिखू डिफरेंस ये है भूमिका की डेफिनेशन चेंज करने के लिए मुझे एक्ट को अमेंड करना पड़ता है रूल्स में करने के लिए प्रोसीजर कम है इसीलिए रूल्स में अमेंड किया है ओके 
so for exam you will consider the limit as 2 and 2 and 20 only but for writing theory you will write the definition as it is uske baad aap ek uh, addition karoge what is prescribed then as per the company specification of definition details 2014 fir aap wo likhoge okay bhumika mere notes mein aapko milega you have my textbook na usme milega so this will not apply to a section 8 company it will not apply to holding and subsidiary company it will not apply to company which are formed under special acts so what if meri ek holding company hai aur meri ek subsidiary hai which is a private limited and uska paid up capital और उसका टर्नओवर लिमिट्स में है इवन देन दिस इज नॉट अ स्मॉल कंपनी बिकॉज इट इज अ सब्सिडरी कंपनी ठीक है सो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव आल्सो फिनिश टाइप्स ऑफ कंपनीज यस रौनक प्रथम प्रिंस प्रीतम करेक्ट आंसर करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट लेट इज डिस्कस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ कंपनी और उसमें सबसे पहले आता है प्रमोटर प्रमोटर की डेफिनेशन आपको करके जानी है प्रमोटर मींस अ पर्सन हु इज नेम्ड एज सच इन द प्रोस्पेक्ट मतलब हिज नेम इज रिटन एज अ प्रमोटर और हु इज आइडेंटिफाइड बाय द कंपनी इन द एनुअल रिटर्न दैट इज सेक्शन नाइनटी इट इज अ कंप्लायंस रिक्वायरमेंट यू हैव टू फिल फिल फॉर्म सेवन या सेवन ए and uh, private public small company mein kya different difference private public small company what 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 did i say i don't i don't remember please go back to the video and see na i don't remember what i said wo flow mein bolte bolte bahut kuch bol diya abhi i don't remember you can please uh, go back and uh, listen to it again he has control over the affairs you have to remember the definition as it is either you are a shareholder director or otherwise in accordance with whose advice neither you are a shareholder but it is according to your advice directions instructions the board is accustomed to act so you may be a professional aapse bina mujhe koi kaam hi nahi hota you can be considered as a promoter yes tell me how many persons are required to form a private company how many persons required to form a private company how many required to form a private company i need minimum 2 public minimum 7 opc minimum 1 yes correct ghost rider i am doing revision for all the chapters yes as per section 3a what if the limit is reduced to below minimum let's say ki meri ek public company hai members left my organization and now i have only four members they can continue the business with this reduced number for 6 months but after 6 months all these four members who are aware who have knowledge that the number has reduced all these four members if they continue even after 6 months then they will be severally liable okay they will be severally liable so only the members who were members during this these 6 months when the number reduced aap tab member the and you continue to remain the member even after those 6 months okay you continue to remain the member even after those 6 months and you knew that the company is doing business with this reduced number so then in that case you all will be severally liable okay you all will be severally liable
देन वी हैव रजिस्ट्रेशन सबसे पहले यू विल रिजर्व फॉर द नेम ऑफ द कंपनी यस यू विल रिजर्व द नेम ऑफ द कंपनी इट्स लाइक द बर्थ ऑफ द कंपनी सो वेन एवर अ चाइल्ड इज बॉर्न यू राइट द नेम सिमिलरली योर ऑल्सो वी विल डिसाइड द नेम ऑफ द कंपनी नेम ऑफ अ प्राइवेट कंपनी विल एंड विदर्ड्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड नेम ऑफ अ पब्लिक कंपनी विल एंड विदर्ड्स लिमिटेड एंड ओ पी सी विल एंड विदर्ड्स ओ पी सी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड इट विल एंड विदर्ड्स ओ पी सी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड नेम रिजर्वेशन फॉर्म इज स्पाइस प्लस पार्ट ए यू विल अप्लाई फॉर न्यू नेम द पार्ट बी इज जनरली फिल्ड फॉर इनकॉर्पोरेशन ओके इट्स अ इनकॉर्पोरेशन फॉर्म वंस यू डिसाइड ऑन द नेम ऑफ द कंपनी स्पाइस प्लस पार्ट ए ये स्पाइस प्लस पार्ट ए फॉर्म इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी फिल्ड आफ्टर यू गेट द नेम यू हैव टू विद इन ट्वेंटी डेज ओके विद इन ट्वेंटी डेज यू हैव टू फिल द इनकॉर्पोरेशन पार्ट बी ठीक है फिल इट विद इन ट्वेंटी डेज देन यू हैव टू ड्राफ्ट योर मेमोरेंडम एंड आर्टिकल्स मेमोरेंडम एंड आर्टिकल्स हैव टू बी ड्राफ्टेड other documents have to be filed like the persons who are engaged in the formation of the company who are engaged in the formation like an advocate company secretary chartered accountant they will sign and persons who are named in the articles why will they sign okay why will they sign because you just want them to confirm that whatever information is given in the memorandum articles Uh, sorry whatever information is given at the time of incorporation that is true and accurate so roc apna kaam kam kar raha hai ye tum declaration de do ki jo bhi requirement thi wo sab puri ho gayi hai so they will sign and say that all the requirements of the act have been complied with all the documents are filed correctly address kahan pe hai for correspondence if you don't have a registered address as of now Declaration will be received from each of these members that all the requirements of the act have been complied with. अच्छा ये declaration क्या देंगे first directors etc. That we have not been convicted of any offence. There is no fraud. There is no misfeasance. Uh, there is uh, the all the documents that we have filed they contain true and accurate information. ये सब वो लोग वहाँ पर confirm करेंगे. So a letter, a separate word file letter will be filed with the ROC. Once the ROC is satisfied, it will issue a certificate of incorporation mentioning the date of incorporation and also the corporate identity number. This corporate identification number is a unique number for every company. Once you get the certificate of incorporation, it means that your company is registered. अच्छा ऐसा भी तो हो सकता है ना कि company register करने के time पे मैंने false information दी थी. Now if you are caught providing false information at the time of incorporation. तो फिर क्या एक्शन लेंगे एंड व्हाट इफ यू आर कॉट पोस्ट इनकॉर्पोरेशन मतलब कंपनी इनकॉर्पोरेट होगी फिर मुझे पता चला कि भाई यहां पर तो फॉल्स इंफॉर्मेशन दी थी नाउ एट द टाइम ऑफ इनकॉर्पोरेशन अगर मैंने आपको पकड़ लिया एट द टाइम ऑफ इनकॉर्पोरेशन इफ एनी पर्सन फर्निशेज एनी फॉल्स और इन करेक्ट पर्टिकुलर्स और ही सप्रेसिस मतलब कुछ बात छुपाई है उसने ही हैज ही हैज नॉट रिवील द करेक्ट फैक्ट ही हैड हिडन सम फैक्ट then he will be liable for fraud under section 447 the heading of section 447 is punishment for fraud there can be file fine there can be imprisonment there can be both if company incorporate ho gayi yaar later we understand that the wrong that wrong information had been provided where at any time after incorporation it is proved that the company was incorporated by furnishing false or incorrect information documents they are uh, given in a fraudulent manner then who will be liable then the promoters first directors persons making a declaration see we have studied earlier who are making declaration advocate company secretary chartered accountant they can be held liable and they will be held liable for action under section 447 now students please note that a theory question is generally asked on this okay theory question is asked on this you will have to by heart the provisions and write it as it is in the exam 
दे मे आस्क यू एट द टाइम ऑफ इनकॉर्पोरेशन आफ्टर और दे मे आस्क यू बोथ दैट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल सो यू हैव टू राइट बोथ वेटेज विल बी अराउंड फाइव मार्क्स टू सिक्स मार्क्स के फाइव टू सिक्स मार्क्स Guys, if you are enjoying the revision session, see, I'm, I insist on write and practice. If you are enjoying this, do like the video, give it a thumbs up. Yes, I would appreciate that. Do give a thumbs up to this video. It will encourage and motivate others, and it will motivate me also to make good video content for you. So please give a thumbs up to this video, and show your support to Theory Masters Learning. All right. Have you noted this down? Okay. What is the effect of registration? See, once the once the company is registered, it becomes a body corporate having separate legal entity. Yes, it becomes a body corporate having separate legal entity in the eyes of law. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pritham. You are also participating well, na? बहुत अच्छा आंसर कर रहे हो, Pritham. Okay, so can this be asked as a theory question? Yes, question can be asked. Theory question can be asked. Body corporate, it becomes a body corporate having perpetual succession, separate legal entity, limited liability. Memorandum and articles bind the company. These are all simple points, but they can be asked in the exam. Property of the company is what will you write? Property of the company is. Guys, we are left with only memorandum and articles. Huh? We are coming to an end of companies. Act. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We are coming to an end to the to the uh, end of companies act. Unbelievable. क्या beautifully answer किया है आप लोगों ने. Amazing. Property of the company is property of company, not members. Liability of the company. is liability of company not members management is in the hand of board of directors simple that is why i am not asking you again it is in the hands of board of directors yes absolutely right Absolutely right, Jatin. Jatin is consistent. बहुत consistent है. Ankita consistent है answers में. Arfan, Arfan is answering very well. Consistently you are answering Arfan. Thank you so much for your comment. Management board of directors very good. Pritham, Gorav, Gorav is also very active. Liability solely liability of the company. Very good students. Excellent answer. क्या यार आप लोग इतने confidently answer कर रहे हो? Sixty exemption तो पक्का मिलेगा. ओके गाइस वी हैव फिनिश दैट यूनिट यूनिट इज ओवर चलो नेक्स्ट शेयर्स एंड शेयर कैप शेयर्स यस शेयर्स कैन बी आइडर इक्विटी और प्रेफरेंस क्या डिस्कस करना है इसमें इक्विटी एंड प्रेफरेंस प्रेफरेंस मींस दे कैरी टू प्रेफरेंशियल राइट्स राइट एज टू रिसीविंग ऑफ डिविडेंड एंड राइट टू रीपेमेंट एट द टाइम ऑफ वाइंडिंग अप थैंक यू सो मच अनिरुद्ध थैंक यू सो मच Preference shares carry two preferential rights: right to receive dividend and uh, right to receive the uh, amount of money at the time of winding up. Private company में ऐसा नहीं है. Private company में they can you give they can give you the priority at the uh, for dividend they may not give you priority for payment of capital. Uh, so private company को एक exemption दिया है यहाँ पर ये C enter में आएगा आपको. As per section forty three, uh, equity can be with uniform voting rights or with differential voting right. Differential voting rights means, let's say you have five shares, then you will get one vote. Fifteen shares, one vote. These these are examples. Company will decide. So DVRs, differential voting rights. I'm giving up my right to vote. I will get more dividend. Okay. 
लास्ट यूनिट गाइज आफ्टर दिस वील कम टू एन एंड ऑफ कंपनीज एट क्या कैन यू बिलीव इट इतनी जल्दी हो गया चलो व्हाट इज मेमोरेंडम एंड आर्टिकल्स ऑफ एसोसिएशन मेमोरेंडम एंड आर्टिकल्स ऑफ एसोसिएशन अगेन फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स हु ज्वाइन लेट प्लीज रिफर माय कंपाइलर फॉर केस बेस्ड क्वेश्चन बिकॉज मेनी स्टूडेंट स्ट्रगल बोलते हैं कि मैम केस बेस्ड क्वेश्चन नहीं समझ में आते कहां से करें सो आई एम शेयरिंग अ लिंक ऑफ द कंपाइलर Yes, guys. Thank you, Pritham. Very nicely written. Thank you so much, guys. If you wish to buy the compiler, I'm sharing the link. It has all the past exam questions, study material, RTP, MTP questions arranged unit wise. So do refer that because very soon we are going to start revision lectures from that book. Okay. Memorandum. Yes. स्टूडेंट्स आई गिव यू वन वेरी इजी वे टू रिमेंबर मेमोरेंडम में लिखा है कि कंपनी क्या काम कर सकती है उसके ऑब्जेक्ट्स क्या हैं उसका पर्पस क्या है उसका स्कोप क्या है कंपनी क्या काम कर सकती है एंड वो कैसे करना है रूल्स क्या हैं रेगुलेशंस क्या है That is mentioned in the articles. They both are public documents. क्या बात है यार? Not even asked questions and you are answering superb. भूमिका memorandum is charter. गौरव ने भी वही बोला है memorandum is charter. <laughs> Naman, that is a very unique way of saying it, but अच्छा है. Okay. uh defines the constitution of the company scope of power it's a public document gaurav is saying it defines the limits of the company super kya baat hai yaar maine to pucha bhi nahi aur aapne sab answer kar diya so it defines the memorandum memorandum is a charter of the company abhi kya puchu isme aapne to pehle hi answer kar diya it's the charter of the company it defines its constitution the scope of power it is a public document every person entering into the contract is presumed to have knowledge of the documents hum to assume kar de ki bhai to aap padh ke hi aaye ho section 399 mein likha hai acha who will tell me the doctrine ye kaun sa doctrine hai bolo who will tell me ki ye kya doctrine hai yes tell me yes who will tell me the name of this doctrine that it is a public document we assume that you have read the document we assume that it is public knowledge what is that doctrine known as yes who will tell me no anirudh it's not the doctrine of indoor management it's not the doctrine of indoor management okay yes correct absolutely right guys it is the doctrine of constructive notice it is the doctrine of constructive notice thank you so much fahad he is saying that inter ca inter charts are amazing thank you so much no ramya it's not the doctrine of ultra wires it's the doctrine of constructive notice that anyone dealing with a company is presumed to have knowledge of the documents hum assume karte ki tum to padh ke hi aaye ho tumko to pata hi hoga yes anirudh correct every person dealing with a company is presumed to have knowledge of the contents of the memorandum it's a negative doctrine it's a negative doctrine now what is the purpose of the memorandum it is two fold it is risk oriented and object oriented risk oriented is basically for the shareholders who wish to invest in the shares shareholders or investors this will tell them ki the amount of risk that they are undertaking by investing in the company jaise if you are investing in reliance you will have to read the memorandum to understand the risk that you are undertaking by investing in reliance 
object oriented is for creditors it is for creditors it is for them to read the memorandum to know whether the products that they are offering or the services that they are offering is within the memorandum it is within the scope of memorandum or not so outsiders tumko pad ke aana chahiye whether the contracts that you want to enter are within the object clause of the company or not acha name clause kya bolta hai name of the private company will end with the words private limited name clause bolta hai that the name of the public company will end with the words limited and opc will end with the word opc private limited नेम शुड नॉट बी अनडिजायरेबल कुछ और पता है क्या आपको नेम क्लॉज के बारे में डू यू नो समिंग अबाउट द नेम क्लॉज कैन यू टेल मी डू यू नो समिंग एल्स अबाउट द नेम क्लॉज कैन यू टेल मी गाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट दिस वर्क बुक प्लीज गो एंड डाउनलोड द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स Go and download this worksheet. Take a print out of the workbook. Start writing. Write and practice. Yes. Can you tell me something more about the name clause? Name should not be identical. It should not resemble the name of an em uh, existing company. It should not be against the emblems and names uh, improper use act. Yes. It should not be against the emblems and names. prevention of improper use act yes correct absolutely right name clause shall not company shall not be given opinion it is undesirable yes bhumika rule 8 8a 8b bhumika has my textbook yes mujhe yaad hai bhumika usko mere paas textbook hai usme sab likha hai section 8 name should not be identical to the name you cannot use the uh, name of pictorial representation of mahatma gandhi of the national flag you cannot use words like uno who if you want to use words like insurance bank uh, stock exchange you need special permission correct very good chalo registered office clause kya memorandum mein main apna exact address likhu or should i write the name of only the state where the company is incorporated it should not be identical to the registered trademark of the company correct Ankita rule eight eight a eight b absolutely right. My next question is in case of registered office of the company, do I need to mention the exact address or I need to mention only the name of the state? We will mention only name of the state so that we don't have to alter again and again. Yes, Parth Gupte, I will be sharing this in my WhatsApp group, the study group as well as the doubt solving group for CA Foundation. so please join my whatsapp group link is in the description box of this video i will be sharing this in both the groups yes we will mention only name of the state so that we don't have to alter the memorandum again and again correct what is the purpose of the registered office registered office mein kya hota hai bolo registered office mein kya hoga why is it important what is the registered office used for what is the registered office used for it is used for communication it is a one point place for communication yes it is used for communication then the books of accounts are maintained over here books are maintained meetings take place at the registered office of the company yes meetings takes place communication takes place your books are maintained yes books are maintained over here notices are delivered we keep the statutory books communication all important documents are maintained here correct object clause will state the objects for which the company is incorporated we we have the main objects and other objects or ancillary objects so the main object of my company is to provide online lectures classroom lectures pen drive lectures books and other lectures ancillary okay it will include 
uh, I can borrow money because I need to uh, purchase a classroom or maybe equipments. I can borrow money. I can issue shares. I can I can also transfer shares. I can hold meetings. So these are the other objects of the company. Uh, then I can uh, 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 also uh, give le uh, lectures in uh, let's say uh, um, like TED talks or something like that. You know I can give lectures in colleges, uh, motivational lectures. All these are other objects of my company. Liability. Liability may be limited or it may be unlimited. Limited may be by shares or it may be limited by guarantee. It can also be an unlimited liability company. So whether the liability is limited or unlimited, that will be mentioned in the memorandum. Capital clause. Yes, who will tell me this? Who will answer? In capital clause, do we mention only the authorized capital or do we also mention the details of uh, authorized capital like issue, subscribe, paid up? Do we mention everything? What is mentioned over here? Issued, subscribe, paid up or only authorized capital and its division? What is mentioned here? Bolo. We only mention the authorized capital and its division. Other details, okay? Other details shall be written in the articles of association other details are only yes absolutely right only authorized capital and other details are written in the articles yes we only write this other details are mentioned in the articles association clause yes we will write that the subscribers to the memorandum have subscribed and they have purchased at least one share we will write details of the subscriber and that they have the fact that they have purchased at least one share Correct. Name of the nominee will be mentioned in case of OPC. OPC will mention name of the nominee. Ultraviolence. What is the meaning of ultraviolence? You have already told me meaning of ultraviolence means beyond the powers. Company can enter into only those contracts which are beyond the power. Company cannot enter into contracts which are beyond the powers. You can enter into only those contracts which are, yes, you can enter into only those contracts which are within the powers of the memorandum. Any act done beyond the powers will be ultraviolence and hence void. Correct, Naman. Besides the name, so here we will prepare a table. We will write name of the subscriber, the number of shares that he has subscribed and other details will be mentioned over there. They should purchase at least one share. So this means beyond the power. Now students, please note that in case a question is asked on Ultraviolet Act, you will have to compulsorily write name of the case law, Ashbury Railway Carriage Company versus Ritchie. Iron, Iron Company versus, you have to write name of the case law. Okay. Now, if the act is ultraviolet, then what will happen? What will happen in case of ultraviolet? It is void ab initio, yes. It is void ab initio. Is the company liable? Is the company liable? Company is not liable. Then who is liable? Who is liable? Yes, Krishna, very good. You have to write the name of that case law. If the company is not liable, then who is liable? The officers, the directors, they will be liable. The company cannot sue. The company cannot be sued. You cannot ratify this act. You cannot go back and confirm. You cannot make the company liable. Ratify. You cannot ratify later on. It is null and void. Yes, you can write that also. It is void ab initio. Even if each and every member gives his approval, this Ultraviolence Act cannot be converted into a valid act. If it is void, it will remain void. In case of articles, these are the rules and regulations. 
these are the keywords they regulate the internal management of the company they are the bylaws of the company so what are the keywords that you will have to write when you when you get an when you are asked a question on articles they are rules and regulations they regulate the internal management of the company they are bylaws of the company this has to be present in your answer lastly we have come to an end guys yes yes this is the last page and we will complete companies act kya baat hai yes tell me <coughs> the doctrine of constructive notice it said that if you are entering into contract with a company you we will assume that you have knowledge of all the documents wow bhumika amazing sentence perfect sentence likha hai bhumika ultra virus act cannot be ratified even with the unanimous consent of all the members i loved that word unanimous consent it should be present in your answer bahut sahi likha hai bhumika this shows that notes are working this shows that my textbook is working i'm so proud of you bhumika you you have uh, utilized the book very well very good the doctrine of constructive notice okay the doctrine of constructive notice is a negative doctrine ki tumko padh ke aana chahiye you should know about the documents it's a negative doctrine law bolta hai theek hai we should know about the contents of the memorandum but you cannot expect us to know whether whatever was written in the memorandum was actually followed by the company or not ye humko kaise pata that is closed no that information those doors are closed to us so that is the do doctrine of indoor management it is an exception to the doctrine of constructive notice this doctrine protects the outsiders that yes you were expected to read the memorandum but you will not be blamed in case the company does not follow the memorandum it protects this will protect the outsiders constructive notice protects the company not outsiders whereas doctrine of indoor management protects the outsiders very good gorav you need not know this protects the outsiders against the company yes jatin correct that you cannot be expected to know whether the company has you cannot expect the outsiders to know whether the whatever was written in the memorandum that has been actually followed by the company or not this doctrine is also known as the turkand's rule because it is based on the case law royal british bank versus turkand now the company uh let's put it in this manner there are two types of resolutions we have ordinary resolution and we have special resolution special resolutions they are filed with roc these are documents which are filed with roc mgd 14 you will study this in ca inter but ordinary resolutions they are not filed with roc can we expect the outsider to know about what was written in the ordinary resolution are usko kaise pata ye to file hi nahi karte ye to file hi nahi hota na how can you expect him to know ki kya likha tha तो लॉ बोलता है यस ही इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू हैव नॉलेज ऑफ द स्पेशल रेजोल्यूशन द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द स्पेशल रेजोल्यूशन बट हाउ कैन यू एक्सपेक्ट हिम टू हैव नॉलेज ऑफ द ऑर्डिनरी रेजोल्यूशन व्हेन दैट इज नॉट फाइल्ड विद आरओसी सो दिस इज द रूल ऑफ इंडोर मैनेजमेंट लेकिन इसमें एक्सेप्शंस डाल दिए अंडर दीज एक्सेप्शनल सर्कमस्टांसिस अगेन यू आर फेवरिंग द कंपनी हम बोलते हैं आउटसाइडर इफ यू हैड नॉलेज ऑफ द इरेग्युलरिटी अरे उसको नॉलेज कैसे होगी इरेग्युलरिटी ही हिमसेल्फ 
is a party to contract. अरे जब तुम पार्टी थे तुमको पता होना चाहिए था ना गड़बड़ चल रही है यू डेंट टेक एनी एक्शन यू विल नॉट गेट द बेनिफिट ऑफ इंडोर मैनेजमेंट इंडोर मैनेजमेंट यू हैड नॉलेज बिकॉज यू वर प्रेजेंट ओवर देर सस्पेशन ऑफ इ रेगुलर अरे मेरे को डाउट आया मेरे को डाउट था डाउट था थोड़ा इन्वेस्टिगेट कर लेते तो पता चल जाता ना नाउ लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल दैट यू आर अ क्रेडिटर ऑफ कंपनी ए I am a director in company A as well as company B. I am a common director okay, in both these companies. Now I am issuing a check to you which is drawn by company B. Will you accept the check or will you be suspicious? I am a creditor of company A. Why is company B giving me money? Don't you think you'll be suspicious? Don't you think you'll be suspicious? Yes. So if you were suspicious, you should have inquired. Law doesn't react to it doesn't protect to those who behave negligently. अरे तुमको doubt आया पता कर देते ना कि कुछ तो गड़बड़ है. I am a creditor of company A. Why is company B making payment? If you were suspicious, थोड़ी inquiry करते तो पता चल जाता तुमने किया ही नहीं. You will not get the benefit of indoor management. okay so here the keyword is that the transaction is unusual the transaction is unusual or it is not in the ordinary course of business so law doesn't reward to those who behave negligently the transaction is unusual it is not in the ordinary course of business to abhi doubt tha to pata kar lete the na you should have checked tumne check kiya hi nahi acha ek accountant aapke paas aata hai ye this is the case law anand lal bihari ek accountant aapke paas aata hai and he offers to sell land of the company should you buy it from the accountant immediately doubt hona chahiye ki why is the accountant offering land he is not authorized bhai dikha tere ko authority kisne di bata doubt tha na thoda investigate kar lete forgery super important forgery is a nullity it is void ab initio very important to know that company cannot be held liable for forgeries committed by officers why should the company be liable ये केस लॉ है रूबिन वर्सेस ग्रेट फिंगल कंसोलिडेशन कंपनी कैन नॉट बी हेल्ड लाइबल फॉर फॉर्जरी कमिटेड बाय ऑफिसर्स ऑफिसर्स विल बी हेल्ड लाइबल रूबिन वर्सेस ग्रेट फिंगल कंसोलिडेशन अच्छा ये केस में क्या हुआ था कंपनी सॉरी रूबिन हैड परचेज शेयर्स ऑफ द कंपनी ये रूबिन हैड परचेज शेयर ऑफ द कंपनी the company secretary forged the signature of directors and gave a share certificate to rubin fir uska naam register mein dala hi nahi rubin objected that how am i supposed to know that there was forgery mujhe kya pata ki tumhare director ke kya sign hote hai this is your internal management i am not liable you will have to register the shares in my name company refused will he get any relief wo to innocent hai bichara will he get any relief yes ya no mai answer karu students yes ya no mai answer karu
no he won't get any relief even if he is innocent so no relief even if he is innocent उसने तो बेचारे ने उसको फॉजरी के बारे में पता ही नहीं था इवन इफ ही इज इनोसेंट ही विल नॉट गेट बिकॉज फॉजरी इज इन्वॉल्व दैट से फॉजरी इज इन्वॉल्व फॉजरी इज अलिटी दिस डॉक्ट्रीन अरे भूमिका क्या बात है यू यू इवन नो वॉट वॉज डिस्कस्ड इन क्लास दिस डॉक्ट्रीन प्रोटेक्ट इन रेग्युलरिटीज एंड नॉट इन लीगैलिटीज एज इन द केस ऑफ फॉजरी ये आपके आंसर में आना चाहिए वेरी गुड भूमिका सुपर so this doctrine protects irregularities and not illegalities as in the case of forgery very good bhumika chalo guys with this dot 9 o'clock yaar 2 hours mein humne pura companies act revise kar liya and aisa koi concept nahi hai jo maine choda hai we have touched each and every concept of companies act so if you have enjoyed this video students before leaving before leaving before leaving just give me a thumbs up just express that you have liked this video it will motivate other students it will motivate me also yes ankita very good correct answer guys in the description box of this video you will find a link to download the prayas revision workbook please join the whatsapp group for doubt solving as well as the study group i'm going to share this document every day for the revision lectures Uh, for BCR, I would like to inform you. For BCR students, please listen. For BCR also, we are going to do revision lectures, but it will be very different. We are going to revise all the formats. I'll give you a PDF which has all the formats at one place. Okay, so we'll revise BCR, and very soon I'm going to come up with a crash course for BCR. If you feel that, ma'am, my to BCR, kuch padha hi nahi hai maine. in this week itself or maybe first half of the next week we are going to come up with crash course of bcr i am giving you the full course at the price of crash course okay so heavily discounted because it's a launch so bcr crash course we are coming up and also revision lectures for the same wow thank you guys i just love I, i'll i'll take up just wait i want to take a screenshot of your comments I want to take a screenshot, just uh, not a screenshot. I want to take a photo. I I oh wow, this is amazing, guys. Just is amazing. The camera is not clean. Yes. Okay. Wow, it's amazing. I would like to post this. Great session. Uh, what? What comment did you guys give? You all thumbs up. Look, it was fun. Seriously. अभी भी आते जा रहे लेट बी डेगा वीडियो ओनली क्या बात है गाइस क्या बात है सुपर्ब 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 थैंक यू सो मच प्रीतम अरे क्या बात है यार क्या बात है थैंक यू किन्नरी यू आर अ वेरी गुड स्टूडेंट किन्नरी बहुत अच्छे बहुत ही सिंसियर स्टूडेंट है ये थैंक यू भूमिका भूमिका यू रॉक टूडे जतिन भूमिका सार्थक वेरी गुड हरिओम अंकिता करेक्ट आंसर थे आज तो काफी बहुत अच्छा लगा अरफान दिस वॉज योर फर्स्ट लेक्चर बट यू फेड वेरी वेल बहुत मजा आया आपके साथ में थैंक यू प्रिंस थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू गाइज योर कॉमेंट्स मेड माई डे Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining. And before leaving, subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for attending. It was lovely being with you. Theory masters learning me. My one aim is to simplify law so that you start loving this subject because it is so practical. How many places where we, you know. ये यूज करते आपको पता भी नहीं चलेगा ये आपको बहुत हेल्प करेगा आपके लाइफ में सो थैंक यू गाइस फॉर जॉइनिंग यू वर अ लवली ऑडियंस 
एंड आई रियली एंजॉय टीचिंग यू गाइज इतना पार्टिसिपेट किया आपने इतना मजा आया ना आज एंड फ्रॉम नाउ वी कैन से दैट लॉ इज अवर फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट यस सो टुमोरो आर यू कमिंग ऑन नो आ रहे हो ना कल सो टुमोरो वी आर मीटिंग एट सेवन ओ क्लॉक अगेन वॉट डू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट टुमोरो शुड वी स्टार्ट विद कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट और शुड वी डू सेल ऑफ गुड्स एक्ट टुमोरो योर विश यू टेल मी यू टेल मी वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट टुमोरो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट स्टार्ट करें इट विल टेक मी टू डेज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट विल नॉट गेट ओवर इन वन सेशन इट विल टेक मी टू डेज एटलीस्ट या थैंक यू हरिओम सो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट स्टार्ट करते हैं टू डेज वील डू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट एंड देन वन डे सेल ऑफ गुड्स एट पार्टनरशिप एंड एल एल पी ठीक है थैंक यू गाइज सो टुमोरो वील स्टार्ट विथ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट टू डेज वील डू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट देन सेल ऑफ गुड्स एट पार्टनरशिप एंड एल एल पी लास्ट ओके गाइज आफ्टर दैट देर विल बी अ सेशन फॉर बी सी आर वेर इन वी विल डिस्कस ऑल द फॉर्मैट एंड आई विल टिप्स ऑन हाउ टू रिमेम्बर द फॉर्मेट एंड वॉट इज टू बी रिटर्न फॉर एग्जाम यस ठीक है चलो बाय गाइज आई सी यू टूमोरो सेवन पी एम कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट आफ्टर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट वील डू सेल ऑफ गुड्स एक्ट ठीक है और फंड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट के बाद सेल ऑफ गुड्स एक्ट करेंगे सो टुमोरो एंड डे आफ्टर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट बाय गाइज भूख लगी होगी सबको अभी तो है ना चलो ओके आई एम एंडिंग द स्ट्रीम हियर गुड नाइट एवरी वन आई सी यू टूमोरो एट सेवन ओ क्लॉक लाइक like जरूर करना वीडियो को बिफोर लीविंग बाय 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 एवरीवन